everybody, welcome to ZooCraft, episode four? I'd run a thousand miles if I could run with you. I think we're on episode four, but regardless, we built the information building in the last video. Actually, let me get a little, let me get a little uh, screeny weeny of it real quick for the thumbnail. Okay, now that that is out of the way, let's go ahead and get into continuing building this information building. So obviously, you guys know how the roof's gonna go. It's gonna be the two peaks, straight back, same thing. Um, inside, I want there to be like a little, like almost reception receptionist area, just mainly like where someone has information about the zoo, can give you maps, directions, all that jazz. Um, and then I want there to be a part that also has like, um, that also has like a big map on the wall that maybe has like where all the stuff is, like all the, um, restaurants as well as exhibits and stuff something along those lines I think that'll probably be good um and then anything that you guys want me to add in here that you think would fit in an information building just let me know um because I honestly don't know there probably will be a tiny gift shop in here as well where there's some plushies but there's going to be an even bigger gift shop near the entrance and exits of the park I don't okay here's the thing the park the uh the wildlife wildlife uh, exhibit I don't know the, the zoo, um, <laughs> that's, that's the word, the zoo, um, so let me know, let me know what I, what I should do about that, I don't really know where the exits and entrances are gonna be, to be honest, um, cause like, it's all zoo, like, the whole world is our zoo, uh, we're, our, our world's the oyster, and the zoo is our, the pearl, you know, like, everything revolves around the zoo, so we can really make the zoo as big or as small as we want, AKA, we're going bigger. We're going, we're going big. We're going to, we're going to make this a big, bountiful, beautiful zoo. Um, so I think we might just have information buildings and gift shops all around rather than like near an entrance and exit now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Um, I'd love to hear you guys' opinions down in the comments, obviously. Also, 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 um, you know how I had that podcast for a little bit? Um, if you don't know, I had a podcast for a little bit called Izumi's Cozy Cast. And I kind of want to continue it. Um, I just, I, I wanted to do episodes with friends. And a lot of my friends, as I mentioned in the last episode, are like going through exams right now. And so, little hard to do that when all my friends are like, you know, not here. Um, but I've honestly realized that I think I would be a lot better bouncing off of someone in a podcast type setting because as much as I do love talking as you guys know I never shut up um <laughs> as much as I do love talking um I I really I really like I I really like having like I don't watch podcasts that are solo like the only one I watch is the broski report by Brittany broski um and that's just because I love her so much and but like I know that like I enjoy podcasts with guests a lot, and so, like, maybe I'll only have guest episodes, because I don't think I could do a podcast with just one person for the entire podcast. Um, I mean, maybe I could, like, because, like, I mean, I could do it with my, my partner, uh, Tommy Kichi, like, because he, he's awesome, so, like, I could definitely do one with him. I don't even know if he would want to do one, though. Um, but I might just do, like, a, a bunch of, like, I just keep having new people on, and if, honestly, that sounds a lot of fun, because it gives me an opportunity to meet more people, because I'll be honest, guys. I want my friends. <laughs> Will you guys be my friends? Peace. Will you guys hug it all? You be my friends? Peace. Uh, Gwydin over to the friendship voice aisle to get friendship voices with me. Um, not that I don't have friends. It's just a matter of, I don't know. I just, I miss like having more friends, if that makes sense. I've always been super, like, I'd rather have good friends than a lot of friends. I've always been that type of person. Quality over quantity with my friends. Um, but as I'm getting older, I'm realizing, because obviously my my friends are very busy, as am I, um, that it's a, little, it's a little hard to have only a couple friends nowadays. Um, also, just like, you know, in general... It's nice to have some variety and meet a lot of people and stuff. And I just kind of want to get out there more, I guess. I don't know. It's weird being in your, like, late teens, early 20s with friends. It's weird. Um, either you have friends from when you were younger or you meet a lot of people and, like, you go through a lot of friends during this time. I feel like that's at least how my experience has been. Um, just, like, growing with or apart pe with people. 
like me and my boyfriend, uh, my p- partner, me and my boyfriend have been together for four years. Um, and we got together when we were 15 years old. We were very young and now we are 19 years old. Um, so, you know, obviously quite a lot has happened in that, in that time, in that space, time and space continuum. Um, and we've just grown together over the years. He's my best friend. He, he is my best friend. Like, I don't need anyone else besides him to be my friend, honestly. Um, but, like, there's that want to have, like, a girly pop, you know? Like, have a girly friend. I think, honestly, my ASMR channel, like, everyone there is such a girly pop. I love them. I genuinely feel like I'm just talking with my friends on, like, FaceTime when I do, like, live streams over on that channel. And I want to feel that way on this channel, too. Not necessarily, like, uh, guys, you're more than welcome to stay here as well. I want just everyone a gr- girly pop or um, d- f- masculine pop i don't know <laughs> or they them pop i love you all i love everyone in between i love i love i just i love you guys in general um i think the main difference is i used to stream a lot i used to stream a lot and there's a lot more people over on my smr channel not subscriber wise but more so um more so uh activity wise um because i post more frequently over there as well as Um, It is a newer channel, so the algorithm pushed it more um, than it does my channel that's been around for, I think, seven years now. Um, Yeah, that's right. This channel is seven years old, I'm pretty sure. Um, The anniversary, I'm 90% certain, was on, um, was on, like, March 15th, I think? Or 25th? I think it was the 25th. I think the 15th was, um... I think the 15th was the anniversary of Fallen Stars. I think that's what that was. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Um, oh, never mind. I thought I was fixing this, but no, it looks it looks worse. <laughs> I made it look worse. Fun. Um, I guess I just, I don't know. I, I want just to, like, connect with you guys more. Um, regardless if you're a girly pop or not. Um, I think I just like the girly pop thing, because I never was very feminine growing up. Um, I was, but, like, I don't know. It was, it was strange. Um, therapy session with, with Izumi. Um, (laughs) I was never really feminine growing up. Um, I wanted to be, uh, but I had a lot of internalized misogyny and thought that being a tomboy meant that I was not like other girls and that I was cooler and that, you know. I don't know that whole that whole weird thing and like it's fine to be a tomboy it's totally fine it's fine to be a woman and not be masculine it's fine to be a man and not be masculine it's fine to be a woman and be masculine it's fine to be anything and be anything like gender does not define how you act but I've learned as I've gotten older I really like girly things I really do um, but I had this negative stigma of them in my head I don't know if I'm the only one that's gone through this or has is going through it right now. Let me know down in the comments if you've gone through any sort of similar situation, whether it be masculine and feeling like you can't be masculine, or feminine feeling like you can't be feminine, or whatever. I feel like I'm not the only one. I feel like I'm not. Uh, feel like this is definitely something that more than just I have gone through. Um, I just haven't personally met anyone who has you know gone through that, a similar situation. I haven't. I haven't spoken with them one on one, at least that I recall. Um, and so, like, there's part of me that's, like, I, like, I have great friends. I love my friends so much. Obviously, we're all kind of busy. <laughs> and so, oops, didn't mean to grab that. I meant to grab the post. We're all kind of busy. And so, like, our lives are kind of hectic right now, including my own. I'm not going to lie. I start projects and, like, work with my friends on purpose. It's so that I have an excuse to hang out with my friends. <laughs> like, I'm a, I'm a workaholic, low-key. Um, I don't hang out with people outside of work a lot of the time. Um, but I'm trying to get better at that. So, like, I'm trying to, like, you know, do stuff with my friends more. And I, I, I was doing that very successfully for a while. I, like, w- I, I was talking to my friends, like, every single day for a while. Or, like, every couple days at least. Um, and I missed that because everyone kind of got busy and then I got busy and then it became just like a matter of like, well, we'll just hang out when we hang out. And then we just like, haven't hung out since, which is totally like understandable. Like I'm not angry about it. I'm just like, I miss my friends. <laughs> I just 
miss my friends. And so, like, I, I'm glad there's there's a project coming up that was uh, – I, I said in the last episode that there was some spoiler – there was a spoiler skin I was wearing. It's that. that it's The series is that series. Um, it's a series I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, and, yeah, it, it, I'm very excited. Um, and it will not be taken away from any of the series on the channel, by the way. It's just a easier series to make that um, – is also high quality and has a really good storyline, um, but isn't doesn't take me weeks to create, if that makes sense. Um, if you guys know like the production of Microfill Plays, you'll understand where it's coming from once you see it. Um, it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit more accustomed to the style of Minecraft High, um, the first ever role play I did after I came back from my break. Um, I think three years ago. Um, it's when that series came out, but, um, that, oh, wait, what was that? Pink concrete? Pink concrete. Oh, that's so, I didn't know. <gasps> I didn't know this was so cute. Oh my God. That is adorable. Anyways. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh God. Um, I'm going to cheat just a little bit with this wooden axe and just to do the floor. Um, okay, concrete's 159. I don't know what pink is, though. Oh, God. I might have missed pink already. Uh, uh, wait. Oh, no, that's terracotta. I don't know what concrete is. Pink concrete? Can I just do that? No. Did I spell it wrong? No, I spelled it right. So, do I have to do concrete... Like that? Yeah. <gasps> Yay! It's like a a pastel version of FNAF. <laughs> the like the like checkerboard flooring. Speaking of dudes, when this is when this is being recorded, uh <laughs> the Five Nights at Freddy's trailer just came out. I'm so excited. The Five Nights at Freddy's movie trailer just came out yesterday or the day before from when I'm filming this. Um, that'll age this recording, but it's okay. Um, and it honestly looks really good. I had my hopes really low, uh, because video game movies, they've been a lot better recently. Like video game adaptations to, you know, movie TV show form have been a lot better recently, but you know, they still are, you know, it, it, they still are hit or miss. I feel like for the most part. And so when I saw... When I saw the trailer, I was, first of all, Josh Hutcherson, is that how you say his name? He is such a good actor, and I'm so glad that I get to see him in something else. I was a PETA girl. I was a PETA girl. I was a bread boy girl. <laughs> I was a bread boy girl. Uh, when I watched Hunger Games, I've never watched Hunger Games all the way through, by the way. I've only re watched reaction videos to them. I don't like gore. It makes me want to throw up. Um, so we'll see how I do with the FNAF movie, <laughs> thinking about that now. Um, but <laughs> I don't like Gore. Watches a movie about children getting killed. Mm, you know, it's fine. I, it's worth it. I am getting into horror. I still don't do well with super scary stuff. Um, but I'm getting more into the scene, more creepy than anything. Like, originally, the only things I could handle in the horror realm was FNAF and, um, uh, let's see, FNAF and, okay, there's two on this side. This is definitely not even. Does it go like that? Okay, this is four blocks. Oh, it's because there's two in the middle. Okay, I see how it is. We're just going to not have a lamp in the middle. Uh, I have my dynamic lights turned down because of my game was laggy. So this will look a lot better once I have my lighting settings turned up and whatnot. Um, this is too big. There we go. Do, 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 do. So the only horror stuff I liked in the past was like FNAF and Little Nightmares. Um, like basically just creepy stuff. I liked creepy stuff. I didn't really like horror. Um, and I still don't like hardcore horror. I just finished The Owl House, which is technically fantasy horror. Um, I also love horror books. Um, I think it's because I can control how graphic it is in my head. Um, 
so I think that's why I like horror books, but I I have I don't watch horror movies. Like I haven't watched a singular horror movie besides Bird Box and I had to close my eyes half the time. <laughs> oh, and The Invisible Man, but that's more of a thriller I feel like than a horror. Um I love thriller. I love thriller. Thriller books. Oh my god, I love thriller books and movies. Um but um uh, I need to light up this middle section. How should I do that? Um, maybe add a little, like, boop, 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 like a little bit of this to give it a little bit more, and then do, 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 Elmo's world, do, 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 um, but yeah, and then, and then like all of these like kitty looking horror games came out, and I've been obsessed with them, um, because it's the horror I can handle. It it's it's non graphic horror, um, like like uh, Poppy's Playtime and um, Garden of Ban Ban is not my favorite. It's not a great it's not great game design, but uh, you get the concept of those style of games, um. But regardless, I, lo I like how this is turning out. I think it looks really cute. Uh, let me know. I I'm going to add a lot of greenery inside. I think that's going to fit. Um, I'll continue this rant in the next episode, though. This is just becoming a podcast uh, as well as building things. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I'll see you guys in the next episode since I am pre-recording. It'll be right after this one. Let's be honest here. But you guys will probably see it in a day or two. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!